class was uh, really, really well thought out and really well put together. I like that they had different speakers. I like that you had multiple voices from different aspects of the real estate industry, um, certainly from the buying uh, perspective, uh, also from the investing perspective. I definitely like the fact that uh, you know there were multiple folks here. Uh, we all had some really great questions, and just the excitement and energy of the room was really well, um, well put together. So, as someone who's interested in like get buying my first home within the next two years, I have done a little bit of research on my own. This is actually my first opportunity seeing someone presenting relevant information in terms of the home buying. That five hundred dollar fee to that inspector could save you tens of thousands of dollars down the road. I learned about the different options that are available to you when you buy a house, like the FM, FHMA, the Fannie Mac they were talking about, and the different loans and interests that's on those type of, uh, type of incomes that you buy when you buy a house. It's always something that I've been interested in doing and something that I've always had, um, something I've always wanted to understand but really didn't have the opportunity to go to someone so it was nice to be able to come to the seminar and to be able to learn more about this specific area. That's the power of investing in real estate and guess what let's say the market does crash. At least you have a building. At least you have people that are paying you rent every month. The three gentlemen had three different areas of expertise. I felt like it was super beneficial in um, going into the specifics, things like the FHA loan, though I've heard of it, but now I had the opportunity to ask the professionals who are in the field direct questions. I thought that was great. I never knew that they look at so much of the credit history and how it's different from when you buy a house and buying a, a, a car. There are all different types of income. There's W-2 income, which makes my life a lot easier. But there's also people who are self-employed, 1099. There's income such as rental income if you own property. There's alimony, there's child support. There's a, a tremendous amount of income that we use to qualify the people. I think it's something that is, uh, needs to be demystified. Uh, certainly the home buying process is, uh, you know, can be a little scary and um, a little fearful for folks. So anything that attempts to bring more clarity and understanding to the process uh, makes it that much better. What we do is that we contact our different um, entities, different agencies to give us uh, assistance in money management, housing and, and of that sort. So uh, we contacted our previous student who graduated from the school, Brandy, who um, was more than happy to conduct a workshop of this nature uh, to our students and members of the community. Initially, I wanted only one person. I wanted only Brandy. But then I noticed that Brandy came in with a crew, which was a very important thing because as you can see, not only one person is proficient in one thing, uh, you have different folks that have different type of proficiency. People come to the two-year college to get a degree and go to work. And I think as we introduce something like this, an educational aspect for students that they come in, they know that, just like Brindley, Brindley didn't continue on. Um, he went on and got his degree, got his housing, um, you know, certificate and things like that. So that helped him out, you know. Now he's making more money than I'm making. <laughs> which is, that's what I'm looking for our students to do. So if they come in and get the information, and if that's enough for them, and they become professionals, that's fine with me. And I think that's, that's, that's the outlook of our, our college here in Hudson County. Meeting my professors, uh, them seeing the growth in me, and me seeing the growth in them, it was a really happy experience because it allowed me to give back and also allowed me to see where did I come from and what I learned. I remember sitting down in a seat and someone telling me about their real estate experience and that's what inspired me to get into real estate three years ago. So the fact that I'm in here talking to students in that same position is really, really interesting and it's really fascinating how those things happen in life and I'm happy and I'm grateful that I was able to do that today.